Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I need to adjust the camera up just to, there we go, much better. <laughs> yeah, my bald head doesn't get cut off that way. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, welcome to my channel. It's Clay Ramage back again. I went to the Goodwill Bins today. A little out of the ordinary. I, it's Thursday and I'm trying, my usual sourcing days are Mondays and Thursdays. So it's not unusual that I would pick Thursday to go to the bins, but usually I get there when they open. But today, because of some car trouble, I got there later. Um, and uh, it was great. And I ran into my friend Brad there. And Brad, um, you know, said he didn't find too much, but found some great stuff, Brad. So, uh, and so I'll show that in a minute. But Brad did find some stuff that he gave to me, which was awesome. And uh, let's just get right into that. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for all my recent subscribers. Appreciate you subscribing and supporting our channel as we go through this reselling adventure that we have. And uh, so, yeah. So I sell things on eBay. Oh, I got several public service announcements. PSAs, as they call before I get into the hall now that I think about it. Because I keep forgetting that if you look down in my links in the description, you'll see there's a link to buy me a coffee. I just signed up for this buy me a coffee app. So if you click on that link, it'll take you to my thing where you can buy me a coffee. Um, and uh, so uh, I love coffee. So hey, it's a great way to support the channel if you'd like to do that. And there's also what they call an annual membership. So you can sign up for a whole year. Um, which would be awesome too. But anyway, but I do thank you guys so much for the support you've given us uh, to this channel and all of those things. And then the second public service announcement is, if you see things in my background, which some of you have noticed, I constantly am changing it out for every video now, making concerted efforts to do that. These are all items that you can find in my eBay store, except for my little mascot bear here. Um, you will not find him in my eBay store because <laughs> he's not for sale. He's my mascot. He's got to stay with me, right? So uh, anyway, now that I got that out of the way, and if you're interested, my eBay store is linked in the description as well. So you can go there to check it out. All right, now I'm going to get into this. It's a small haul, so we don't have a lot, but some very exciting things. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll get, since I mentioned Brad, Brad, found these there's a whole bag of these switch plates that are brass nice brass switch plates um so there's a whole bag of those both double triple and single switch plates in that bag and of course i do really well with these types of things so that's why i Grab them. They sell them both on eBay and at the Pink Elephant, the antique store where I have a booth. So those were the light switch plates, and then there's also making a lot of noise, aren't I? Um, the wall plates and some more switch plates in this other bag. So that's a great find. Um, we pay by the pound, so I don't know how much I paid for that, but probably six dollars or something for all of that. Um, so that's kind of heavy. Altogether, I spent $33.59 today. Um, $3.57 was on electronics. And I found three of these. I'm only showing you one. Uh, these are picture lights. So you would mount these either over your picture or uh, like on a bookcase. Anything you want to highlight, you can mount these. And these are adjustable, so you can, you know, extend them out further if you want to, and the head swivel. So these are not marked. Now, some of them are marked House of Troy. That is a very high quality uh, brand. And uh, so there's this small one that I got, and then I got two larger ones. Um, so yeah, so those I paid $1.20 each. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them. I might use them myself, or I uh, might sell them. I'm not exactly sure. This is my tragedy. I had a tragic event at the checkout counter today. I was so excited. I found one of these gold encrusted acrylic candles. And then as I was putting it on the counter, guess what Clay did? He dropped it. I dropped it and I broke it. 
It's a clean break, but it's still broken. I was very disappointed. But that happens. Seems like there's always something I break. Anyway, so that's that one. Oh, I did find these vintage sheets too. This is just a twin flat sheet in this nice rose color. What era does the color rose remind you of? 1980s into the 90s? Look at that beautiful <laughs> arrangement there in blue. Um, so yeah, so again, vintage sheets, new in the package, seem to do pretty well as well. So I'm going to have some more tea. Ah. I found Mickey, little vintage Mickey, with the Mickey hat. Um, and again, I don't know how old he is. He needs a good clean. He's got some what looks like animal fur all over him. But we'll clean him up and uh, go from there. I've done well with Mickey figures. I found one tiny little ornament, 1991 on the back. So I'll take that down to the pink elephant. I think that's uh, Norwegian on there. I found a little bag of peanuts, which you can do for decor decoration, but I actually I'm going to use this as filler when it's shipping. It didn't cost me anything. Um, so yeah, I'm going to save the very best to the end of this video, which won't be very far because I only have a few more items. Um, found this barometer which is a dial barometer and it's designed to hang on the wall. That's the top with a little hole. And uh, so it says it's supposed to be stormy, I guess, which they are predicting a snowstorm for tomorrow. So I think it's pretty accurate. It's coming. All right. I found these two silver candlesticks. These are silver plate and the easiest way to see is on the high edges you know like these are not marked at all there's no markings on them they're felt covered on the bottom don't really want to tear that off they're light so they could lead you to believe they may be sterling but they're also weighted so they've got plaster in the bottom but in this case if you just look on the corners you can see the copper base metal underneath it where the silver plating has worn off just on the edges so but still they're beautiful candlesticks so i'll polish those up and see what we get and many of you know i love silver pieces even if it's silver plate doesn't matter i just love the look of it for some reason oh <laughs> i confused myself for a minute i'm sorry let me go over here i found a couple books but we get to those in a minute i did find a calculator uh, this is battery powered. Now this is interesting. Because this still has this piece of tape over there. Anyway, sorry. I'm so distractible today. But yeah, this looks like it was never used. Just have to drop some batteries in it and see. Um, I like this one because it's got the tape on it. I have one without the tape, but I like the tape. Being an old accountant, I like... I like the tape. I like the numbers coming out. Um, and then I picked up some books on CDs. Um, I'm a big Dean Coots fan, as some of you know. Picked up one of his, The Husband, which I've read the book. Um, but I like listening to these when we're traveling. This is Where the Crawdads Sing. Um, White Lies, Jane Ann Krentz. I've heard of her, but I've never heard any of them. Oh, it's this great big box, but most of it is <laughs> styrofoam packing. I was like, why is this so light? That's why. And this one is still new sealed. Sugar Daddy, it says. Looks like it may be a cowboy story. And it kept getting marked down until it was down to $4.99. Regular price, $14.99. Whatever. Anyway, so those are the CDs. Last, I mean, here's the books. There are two juvenile books, you know, early readers. The Alice and Jerry books, they're both Alice and Jerry. One is Roundabout and the other is Down the River Road. Both in pretty good shape. 
um, they are Wantawan County, Minnesota. It's a, they are former school district books. So, Mankato. That one's from Mankato. Down the river road, somebody wrote on the spine. But again, these are fun little books for people to view. And then I picked up some sheet music. There was actually quite a bit of it, but it smelled really musty. Most of it was in terrible shape, but I did pick up this Polonaise by Chopin. Because I'm like, oh, I might want to try to play this one. Da, 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 da. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I digress. All right, so I picked up a number of pieces of flatware. Um, this one is clearly broken. He's in it for the scrap value at this point, but it is marked 800, which means it's 80 parts silver, 20 parts, 20 parts alloy right there is its mark. So this has scrap value and I could probably, and I probably will take, this is the blade itself is steel because silver is, um, the higher the number of silver, like 800 to 920, 925. It's very soft, so it doesn't work well for cutting. Um, so they put silver blades onto, I mean, steel blades onto the, with silver handles on the knives. So then I found a bunch of forks and these huge spoons, and the forks are huge. Look at those. How big are those? I'm like, boy, that's, that's going to have a lot of food on it. That's a two and a half inch fork. That's huge. And the spoon is three inches. And I thought, oh, these are serving spoons. But then I just kept pulling them out and pulling them out and pulling them out. So there are four, eight, twelve of these spoons. I didn't count the forks. And we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve forks. And then an extra. This is the salad fork. Um, now here's what's interesting. They're all the same, pretty much the same pattern, you would say. See how this has the little loop and then the two drops on each side. Now the spoons are shorter than the forks in the design. The back is the same. The ends are the same. They both have the same monograms. Okay. And approximately the same size of you know this part um but what's interesting is the spoons actually have marked several different people this one is steiner which is a german manufacturer it's marked 800 uh or austria austrian silversmith he was born in germany but he moved to austria um marked 800 the forks are marked Henniger, H-E-N-N-I-G-E-R, and this one it says 50. So I have to look that up. I can't remember the um, what that signifies off the top of my head. I was going to look that up before the video, and I forgot. So these are 80 parts silver, all of these spoons. So it's high-quality silver. These, from what I can tell, Steiner himself died in 1914. He was working in Austria until like 1860. No, he started his business like in 1864 um, into the 1880s and then moved back to Germany. Now, what's interesting on the spoons is, yes, several of them, most of them are Steiner. But there are several, like this one, that is a G dot Reich, R-E-I-C-H. Same pattern, same size spoon. There's actually just a little variation. It's actually more like the fork, whereas it's longer. And there is also This one, which is marked 800, with hallmarks on it, 
no name. And then there's one more. I think it's this one. No. These two are both hallmarks. This one. <laughs> and it's just strange. This one is a, looks like the letter A and then Kulka, K-U-L-K-A. Right there. So my assumption is these are all German manufacturers, silversmiths, that somehow whoever the original owners were, <laughs> seemed like they had to go to multiple manufacturers to get a full set of 12. But they did, and again, there's those little subtle variations in each one of them that I think is interesting. But the forks are all Henniger, which is another German company, um, which I find very interesting. And this small salad fork, which uh, there was only one of these for some reason, is also a Henniger. Now this one says 60 on it, as opposed to 50. But this one is not monogrammed. So, I, 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 I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> but again, sometimes these sets were built over time, so they would, you know, add to it. Maybe they had a four piece, then they added four more pieces, and they added four more to be 12 as the family group. I don't know. That is kind of what I believe, because there's four that are marked Steiner, all in the same manner oh. sorry i'm rambling on here so those four are all steiner that's so there's five steiners and then there's three six steiners there's four that are hallmarked mm, no three that are hallmarked in the same way these three and then there's three that are from three different companies <laughs> I don't know never seen it that that not many different manufacturers of the almost the exact same pattern but you know it was for the same family because it all has the same engraving on it so However that works, it worked. I don't know. You tell me if you guys know. It's, sometimes you just never know. You know, the mystery will never be solved. But that was our fun trip to the bins today. Thank you guys so much. If you've bought anything from me on eBay lately, thank you so much. And if you do, please comment, you know, so that I know that you're a viewer and I can give you proper recognition on that. But um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And we're getting ready for a big snowstorm here in Minnesota this starting tomorrow. So we'll probably be hunkering down for the weekend. Anyway, great to see you guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye.